All right, so in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create the same geometry you created in the last video, but in just a different way. Just to show you that there's a multiple ways you can create the geometry as long as you have the shape that you want at the end, all right? So come back to the drawing real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out right here and I'm gonna draw my lines to the left. This way I can get the length of my line. And since I have everything dimensioned from here, it makes it easier for me to just draw the rest of the lines here, okay? So look at your drawing as I'm doing this. I'm just going to create them without going back and looking all the way out to, the, to here. I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to show you how to create this one from point to point. And then I'm going to keep going all the way to the end and I'm going to be doing some trimming towards the end right here. And I'll show you why. So I'm going to minimize this real quick and I'm going to get started. So go to your line, snap that at the origin to the left and make that 1.375. All right, and hit apply. Now, from here towards the top is gonna to be a half an inch. Apply, from here to here is gonna be a quarter of an inch. Remember, I'm just following the length and dimensions in my drawing. Don't forget to select apply after every line. 0.25 again. Remember, I don't have multi-line selected because I need to make sure that all my lines are correct. You can do multi-lines, there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanna make sure I have everything done correctly. Now, for the next one from here to here, you need to do some calculation. So if you go back to your drawing, from 0.625 to 0.25 is gonna be 0.375. So just make sure you get that one correct. So it's gonna be 0.375 apply it's going to be 0.125 up 0.125 across and hit apply so now to the next and fun part the next one i'm going to start my line right here but i need to snap it right at a point right here so the way you figure that point out if you go back to your drawing that point is very easy to figure out it's 0.25 in a z or d and it's going to be uh, right here at 0.875 and Z. But now the most important part is that that's dimensioned from here, right? But your origin in MasterCam is here. So you need to figure out what this distance from here to here is, okay? So all you do for that is you take the 1.375 minus the 0.875, and that will be your distance from here to here. And now, something that is very very important whenever you're placing an endpoint and you're telling it to be placed at a certain point whatever that dimension is in d from here to here is d all right and if you're getting confused on that remember i have z in d when you're doing with turning so whatever d is and you're placing a point in d that needs to be double only when you're placing a point so if i open up my drawing again when I place this point in Z, that's fine. Whatever that distance is, is fine. But in diameter wise, that needs to be doubled. Okay, that's very, very important. So instead of 0.25, it needs to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5 meaning the entire diameter. That's how it reads it. So it's not gonna read 0.5. So again, 1.375 minus 0.875. We can open up the calculator. 1.375 minus 0.875 is a half an inch. So it's going to be negative half in Z, and it's going to be half in, in D, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So first point right here, you can come over here to D. That's going to be 0.5. In Z, negative 0.5. And you can leave Y the same and hit Enter. And there you go. That's what you should have. Now, see how this one looks good? If you actually left D at 0.25, it's going to bring it to right around here. And that, you know can throw a lot of people off, but that's how D is read. Whenever you're placing a point, you need to double the real distance of D if you're doing only half. So D, think of D as the diameter uh, of your part. Okay, and uh, let's go to the next one. So for the next point, from here to here, let me go back to my drawing to make sure I'm doing this correctly. So from here to here is 0.125 minus 0.875. Again, just always make sure you do your calculations to make sure you do it right. So 1.125 minus 0.875 is a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna exit out of this. So 0.25, enter, it's gonna be 
0.125 to the top. Apply. 0.125 again across. Apply. And last but not least, you really all you need to do is draw a 45 degree angled line down here. You don't need to try to snap it at a certain point if you don't want to. The faster method, uh, at least the way that I like to do it, is draw any line right here and just make sure you have the angle correct. So if you go back to your drawing, that's a 45 degree angle. But if you're looking at it as a quadrant, if you start out at zero right here, 90, 180, okay, 270, and the 45 will actually be 315 degrees. Whenever you're starting right here and going down, uh, you, you have to think of this entire thing as the angle. So if I go over here, so from here all the way around to here is that angle, which is going to be 315 degrees. And there you go. If you, if you actually place it at 45, see how it goes? That's because that is the 45 degree from this line right here, from zero. Zero being straight across, 45, 90 will be on top. And I can show that to you. There you go. So 180 will be the other way. The opposite way of zero 270 will be straight down and 315 will be 45 degree angle to, towards the bottom just hit apply and now just draw another line from here to here and hit apply and okay again so now all you need to do is come over to trim and make sure you have trim divide selected and just select this one and this one right here to clean it up nicely and last but not least we need to create the fillets so we have the point zero uh, 0 0.05 fillet hit apply and then we want to do it again for the left side but that needs to change to 0.1 there you go apply and okay so now if I go back to my drawing to verify it looks good everything looks the same and so this is just another method of creating that uh, you know a third method if you really want uh, you can actually place points at all of these areas and then come back and connect them you can do that by selecting point and you know uh, creating points in all these corners and come back at the end and select all these points.